everyone. I'm Vitória, your English teacher. Welcome to our English class. <sighs> I'm so easily pee. Oh. Good morning, octopus. Hmm. Tá com soninho? Tô com soninho. Vamos cantar para ver se a gente desperta? Let's sing. Hi, hello. How are you today? Hi, hello. I'm fine. I'm great. Tu tu do do do. How about you? Tu tu do do do. How about you? How are you today? How are you today? Are you happy? Mm, sad? Or angry? Mm, how are you today? I'm happy. I'm happy because it's picnic time. Mm, what's the weather like? Como será que está o clima hoje? Hum, você já foi ver, Octopus? Não? Será que está fazendo sol? Hum, não sei. Vou lá ver. Espera aí. Hum, what do you think, Octopus? What's the weather like today? Let's see. Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy? Or is it windy? Vamos aprender uma música nova? Let's sing! Sunny! What's the weather like? What's the weather like? It's sunny, it's sunny. Sunny, sunny, sunny. Rainy. Sing with me. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? It's rainy. It's rainy. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Cloudy. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? It's cloudy. It's cloudy. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. Windy. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? It's windy. It's windy. Windy, windy, windy. What's the weather like today? Um, look at our window. What's the weather like? Yeah, it's sunny. A perfect day for a picnic. But um, I can't go for a picnic wearing pajamas. Let's get dressed. Let's get dressed, octopus. Let's go. Agora sim, estamos prontos para o piquenique. Quer dizer... Quase prontos, porque ainda falta arrumar a nossa cesta. Não podemos esquecer nadinha. Será que vocês lembram da listinha que eu fiz? Look! This is my checklist. Let's check the items for the picnic. Look! Picnic packing checklist. Vocês conseguem me dizer para que a gente usa uma lista como essa? Vou dar duas opções. Letra A, saber quem está presente em uma aula. Ou letra B, checar itens que não podem ser esquecidos. Pay attention to the items. Qual é o propósito desta lista? Sim, checar itens que não podem ser esquecidos. Now, pay attention. I divided this picnic packing checklist into three categories. Food, 
beverages and supplies. Look, food, things we eat, beverages, beverages, things we drink, and supplies, things we use to organize, to support the picnic. Uh, first, we check food items, okay? I'll bring apples, I'll bring apples, cookies, cookies, and chips. Let's check the food. Apples, chips, and cookies. Okay. Items in the basket. Now, beverages. I'll bring orange juice and water. Let's check the beverages. Water and orange juice. Okay. Beverages in the basket. O restante dos itens de comida e bebida, os meus amigos vão levar. Hum, olhando essa listinha, eu já tô até com fome e morrendo de sede também. Nem tomei café ainda. Look. Hungry. Thirsty. Hungry, thirsty. Do you remember these words? Hum? Eu tenho um desafio para vocês. Vamos ver se vocês conseguem memorizar o que dois dos nossos colegas estão pensando. Look, this is Joana and this is Kawan. Vamos ouvir o que eles dois estão pensando? Pay attention to Joana. Listen. Mm, I need to eat something. Now, listen to Kawan. I want to drink something. E aí, conseguiu memorizar? Hum, Joana, did she say eat or drink? Yeah, she needs to eat something. And Kawan, did he say eat or drink? Yeah, he wants to drink something. Hum, agora vamos combinar os emojis. Por exemplo, hum, Joana, hungry or thirsty? And Kawan, thirsty or hungry? Let's find out. Listen to Joana again. Hum. I need to eat something. Is she hungry or thirsty? Yes, she is hungry. Now, listen to Kawan again. I want to drink something. Mm, is he hungry or thirsty? Yes, he is thirsty. Agora vamos ver se você prestou atenção nas palavras que eu usei para falar da Joana e do Cauã. Look, he or she. Which word completes the sentences? Do you remember? Vocês lembram? Joana is hungry. He or she? She, she's hungry. So, for Kawan, we use he. He is thirsty. Qual é a diferença entre essas palavras, então? Hum, ah, sim. Geralmente, para meninas, usamos she, ela. E para meninos... Usamos he, ele. Repete comigo. She's hungry. Mm, very good. 
He's thirsty. Yes, awesome. Now let's practice. Look. Lorena is tired. Mm, he or she is tired. Qual palavra pode substituir o nome da Lorena? He or she? Yes, she. She is tired. Now, Daniel. Daniel is sleepy. He or she is sleepy. Yeah, he is sleepy. Ian. Ian is scared. He or she is scared. Yes, he is scared. And the last one. Dandara. Dandara is sick. He or she is sick. That's it. She is sick. Mm, are you hungry, octopus? I'm so hungry. Mm, vamos logo terminar de arrumar essa cesta? O que falta mesmo para a gente colocar aqui dentro? Ah, the supplies. Let's see. Mm, serving utensils. Napkins, plates and cups, mm, the picnic blanket, hand sanitizer, insect repellent, and trash bags. Look, we are done. Look at the list, let's check. Yeah, we've got all the supplies on the list. Oof, I'm finally done. My picnic basket is ready. These last two items are very important. You know, do you know why? Hand sanitizer and trash bags. Mãos limpas e nada de lixo na natureza. Quando fazemos um piquenique, temos que ter responsabilidade e não deixar nenhum lixo para trás. A natureza agradece e as outras pessoas que vão usar aquele espaço depois merecem encontrá-lo limpinho, não é mesmo? Hum... hum. Vamos ver o que aprendemos hoje? Agora vocês já sabem. Nomear itens que levamos para um piquenique. Conferir itens em uma lista. Falar sobre as condições do tempo. Falar sobre suas emoções. E falar sobre estados e emoções de alguém. Let's have our picnic, octopus! Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's say goodbye, goodbye!